for a couple of weeks during midwinter, the sun doesn't rise at all. I would say the darkest times are before the snow rise, because when you have the snow, it never really gets pitch dark. You always got a little bit of light reflecting from the sky in the snow. Next rider in Stargate, Christopher Turdel. In my eyes, he's the favorite for the overall tour ranking and probably favorite for every tour stop to win. Growing up in Gällivare, it's there because of two large mines. The town is built around the mines and then everything else came and I'm lucky there was a ski hill right next to it. So I remember skiing from like forever and race training when I was young, but I was always free skiing in between race training and I, I quit ski racing, wanted to try something different. So I went out traveling, was able to travel down to the Alps where I've only been like race training before. And so a couple of my friends were there free skiing and that really got me hooked up. <laughs> Uh, that was probably the best run in a couple of years. I guess I got bumped up a little bit because I was, uh, I'd been competing in the Scandinavian Championship. <laughs> so uh, the three are world tour riders also doing it, Rainer Barker, Eden and Ville Lindberg, thought that I should go try to do qualifiers. Uh, so they helped me get a wild card for a four star qualification and managed to win the first one. So from there. A lot of contrast in my life at the moment, I think, because I'm still working a bit and combining it with doing studies in Stockholm. And then I'm really focused on my ski career thing, going to competitions and working with sponsors. And so it can be like that one, one week I'm in the mines working and then flying to Stockholm, doing a photo shoot with peak flying in models from London, from New York, and I just got back from the mine. What, what are you feeling? What's going on right here? It's steeper than I expected. I don't know. I guess most of the guys competing feel like on comp day when you're walking up to the start gate. Everyone is nervous and uh, I always feel like, why am I doing this to, to myself? Like I, I could be over on the other mountain free skiing and just have a good time. Christopher Tudel. Here we go and expect something extraordinary. So solid and earring to that shoot shutting it down, speeding it up and stomping it. I think it was such a technical entrance to that shoot, even more impressive than Imar for me. But at the same time, I guess it's the feeling of like really trying to push yourself and do the best possible out of a run that you looked for for a couple of days. And yeah, of course I like it, but it's mixed feelings, definitely. <laughs> How does he look so I'm relaxed? I'm just speechless. He always puts on a show and he makes it look so easy. So easy. Nice, Christopher. It's definitely sustainable to a point, maybe not until he was 60 years old or something, but there's a lot of free skiers that have been doing this for years and they're over four years old, so yeah, I hope to be able to do it for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, world champion since the fourth stop this year, Christopher!